If you feel like you've been stuck on low calories, doing tons of activity, and you're frustrated you can't lose weight, it's possible your metabolism is adapted and the only way you're gonna start seeing results again is the reverse diet where you gradually increase your calories to get your maintenance calories higher again so that you can come back and start losing weight efficiently again. But how do you know you need to reverse diet? In this video, I'm gonna show you some signs and things to look for to know whether you need to reverse diet or not, or if perhaps you can make some changes and get that fat loss going. So the big thing you need to understand, anytime you go into a fat loss phase, is eventually your metabolism is going to slow down. It's going to get harder to lose weight. You're going to have to drop calories more, increase your activity some, and you're going to hit plateaus along the way. But at a certain point, your body's just going to start fighting you too much. And I get comments all the time from people saying things like, I've been on the same calories for two years now. I haven't lost any weight and I'm frustrated. And it just kills me because it's like, truthfully, if you're being diligent, you really don't need to spend more than about three or four weeks on the same numbers if you aren't seeing progress. Now remember, you can still lose body fat without the scale going down. So make sure you're paying attention to pictures, paying attention to measurements, pay attention to how your clothes are fitting, and don't get too tight to scale. But if you do feel like you're stuck and you're on low calories, the first thing you want to do if you want to see progress and you don't want to start your reverse diet yet is you need to make sure you truly are stuck. So what I'd recommend doing for the next two weeks, you're going to be perfect here. And if you watch my videos at all, you know I am anti-perfection. usually leads to the all or nothing mentality. It's not going to be sustainable. But you can do anything for two weeks. And a lot of people just aren't very good about accounting for their intake accurately. So for these two weeks, you're gonna have full control of your food. You're not gonna go out to eat. You're not gonna go to other people's places where they're making food. You're gonna buy all your own food. You're gonna prepare it all. You're gonna make sure you're measuring everything you eat, not by volume, but by grams on a food scale because volume isn't always gonna be very accurate, whereas a gram is always a gram. You're gonna make sure you're not taking any extra bites or taste or anything that you're not accounting for. And you're just gonna make sure what you say you're eating is what you're actually eating. Because a lot of times it's just things like cheap meals that aren't being accounted for, blowing it out on the weekends. And I can't tell you how many new clients have come to me saying, I'm stuck on low calories. I need to reverse diet. I need your help. And we'll get started with them. I'll actually bring their calories up. And what happens is they actually start losing weight. Why does this happen? Not because of magic or because their metabolism just sped up like crazy. It's because by getting the accountability of having a coach, they were more accurate with their nutrition and it put them into a calorie deficit, which by the way, if you feel like you could use that extra accountability to have help and to know exactly what to do, then fill out an application. There's a link in the description and check your email for a video response. But anyway, if you get really dialed in and you still can't see progress, then you're either going to have to A, make some adjustments to lower calories, maybe increase your activity some because you're just not in a calorie deficit at this point and you have to be more aggressive. Or B, if that just sounds impossible, you're already barely hanging on, then you're going to need to start your reverse diet. But don't assume a certain amount of calories is necessarily too low for you. Instead, look for some warning signs from your body and make the determination based on that. So some things to look for is honestly, you're just mentally over it. Like if you just don't want to diet anymore, please don't try to force it because you're not where you want to be yet. Also looking at things like extreme hunger, you feel like you're just constantly focused on food, it's always on your mind. You're struggling with the binging restricting mentality. You're feeling extremely exhausted, just low energy all the time. You find yourself overly moody and agitated and really emotional a lot more than usual. You're constantly cold, some physical signs like having brittle nails, starting to see sudden hair loss for females, loss of period. And also if you find yourself constantly getting injured and your body's breaking down, these are all signs that you're in a terrible place and it's time to start working your calories back up. But there is one other thing you could do before you do this if you just really want to make that next push, especially if you haven't been taking diet breaks. I would spend the next two weeks, bring your calories up by around three to 500 calories per day, cut your cardio in half and give your body a reason to let down its guard against fat loss, make some hormonal and metabolic improvements. Then you can come back, try again. And sometimes people do this and it gets moving for them. But if you do that and it's still not there, then it's time to reverse. But you got to make sure you don't do this because you're afraid to gain weight. If you do this, you're never going to get anywhere. Best case scenario is you're going to stay on these low calories, stay doing all this activity, not see any progress, feel like crap all the time, feel overly restricted because you can't eat any food and you're going to get nowhere. Worst case and what happens to most people is they eventually just snap and say, I can't take it anymore. End up binging like crazy, rapidly gaining weight, even though they were afraid to gain weight to begin with. But now they haven't really done anything for their metabolism because it's been so fast, their body hasn't had time to adapt, panic, bring calories down again, body hasn't recovered, still can't see progress, and it's just this nasty loop that turns into yo-yo dieting and just getting fatter and fatter and more and more frustrating. So you have to be okay with gaining a small amount of weight in the short term, understanding it's for the greater good, and it's going to be the only way you're going to get where you want to be. So you got to think big picture, focus on the positives of the reverse, because there's way more positives of bringing calories up than there are being in a calorie 
calorie deficit. But the thing about gaining weight, whether yo-yo dieting in reverse, really throws a lot of people off. Like, what's the difference if I'm still gaining a lot of weight? Shouldn't that improve my metabolism? But the answer is no. And I have a video you can actually check out up top here that explains why reverse dieting works and puts you back into a position where you can succeed again versus this yo-yo mentality that keeps you stuck forever. So check that out next, and I'll see you in that other video.